At the beginning of this year, Boeing was optimistically looking forward to 2020 because this was the year they were going to get their best-selling airplane off the ground and back into the air again. But then there was the pandemic that grounded not only Boeing, but the world's entire fleet of aircraft. But that's okay, because Boeing still had hope, because the revolutionary new 777X was going to take to the skies in 2020 and help right the ship. Well, that didn't happen either. Now Boeing is warning that it's baby. The international workhorse Boeing 787 Dreamliner is in danger of coming apart at the seams. Literally. Come on, 2020. Come on! Enough already. That's Nick on Maximus. Recently, Boeing announced, due to ongoing manufacturing problems, that they would have to delay the much-anticipated launch of the newest wide-body jumbo jet, the 777X, by a year at least, and possibly more. That left Emirates, the 777X launch customer, with a problem. They ordered 150 of the state-of-the-art airplanes. Now they faced the possibility of not being able to fulfill that order in time. However, there was no real need to worry because Emirates simply changed some of those brand new 777X orders for Boeing's most reliable and equally capable plane in their stable, the backbone of the international fleet, the 787 Dreamliner. Problem solved, right? Wrong. Now comes word that Boeing is recalling at least eight brand new 787 Dreamliners due to a defect that could literally cause the revolutionary carbon fiber fuselages to come apart in midair. John Ostrower of the Air Current is reporting that Boeing will be removing eight new 787 Dreamliners from service due to serious issues with the carbon fiber fuselage aft bulkhead joint connections. Earlier this week, Boeing required airlines to remove eight recently manufactured 787 Dreamliners from service after Boeing discovered a manufacturing defect that threatens the structural integrity of the jet's carbon fiber composite structure. According to the air current, so far 8787s, all built in the last few years, have been grounded. Airlines flying these specific aircraft are United Airlines, Singapore Airlines, and Air Canada. The air current said Boeing confirmed that it has identified two distinct manufacturing issues in the join of certain 787 aft body fuselage sections, which in combination result in a condition that does not meet our design standards. Wow. That is some corporate word salad right there. This is only the second time the 787 has either been partially grounded or totally grounded since the fleet was grounded in 2013 when its lithium ion batteries were overheating and in some cases catching fire. The plane stayed grounded for three months until Boeing created new containment and venting systems for the 787's electronics bay. In this new case, the issue has been identified as the connecting joint inside where the rear fuselage and tail fuselage sections are joined at section 47 and 48 where the carbon fiber barrels meet at the pressurized bulkhead. There are two specific issues surrounding this most recent Dreamliner problem. The first issue affecting the grounded aircraft involves shims that are built to a robot's precise laser-guided measurements to fill any gaps where the two barrels are joined to ensure that stresses are distributed as designed. Some of the gaps were improperly filled according to the air current. The aircraft were also found to have roughness on the inner skin of the barrel wall. Combined, the two issues meant that the segments might not withstand the required structural loads, the air current said. Boeing fabricates Dreamliner barrels from strands of carbon composite tape laid down by giant robots. Workers then meld together two of the sections with a rear bulkhead that helps maintain cabin pressure. Boeing is separately addressing another concern that other faulty shim installations on their own might contribute to structural fatigue. The company is analyzing data on the 977 Dreamliners already in service to determine if additional action including inspections is required, the person familiar with the matter said. The FAA said it's engaging with Boeing regarding the flawed Dreamliners. The agency has the option to issue emergency orders if it believes urgent action is needed. Because the planes are built in the U.S., the FAA will take the lead in determining what type of inspections and repairs are needed after consulting with Boeing. Other regulators would typically adopt the FAA's requirements. This isn't the first time there's been a problem regarding the carbon fiber shims on the Dreamliner. 
In early 2012, Boeing discovered a manufacturing error causing delamination in the plastic composite aft fuselage section of some 787 Dreamliners. Incorrect shimming procedures on the support structure on the aft fuselage was to blame for the damage in that case. An earlier problem arose in 2010 with faulty shimming by mechanics working for Alina Aeronautica building the 787's horizon tail in Italy. They had applied too much torque when tightening the fasteners, and the consequent compression of the shims degraded the composite material. At the time, those manufacturing quality issues with the horizontal tails added months of delays to the jet program. Many airplanes had to have their tails extensively reworked. In the 2012 incident, the delamination happened in a section of the aft fuselage near where the horizontal tail is joined. Okay, so I guess if there's a silver lining here, it would be that this grounding is limited to only the most recent eight 787s that were manufactured. There is no word on if there were any additional planes in production found with the same defects. But the bad news is obvious. Boeing has yet another PR problem on its hands. Fortunately, it's just a PR problem due to the fact that they caught the problem in time. This time, at least. Well, that's all I have for now. I know there are always strong feelings when it comes to Boeing. So let me know down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus. <laughs>